The devastating ice storm itself may be over, but some people in Sweet Home say they are still dealing with dangerous situations involving downed utility lines and tree limbs. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. People who live along Wiley Creek Road are afraid that somebody will get eventually will eventually get hurt. And as KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez shows us, residents are demanding action. I want to see the phone company up here to either repair these lines and make them in case somebody else needs a phone or get rid of them. Marsha Sieber has been living on Wiley Creek Road for a number of years. She's also a customer of Lumen, formerly known as CenturyLink. As the ice storm already did a number on the trees and the lines, she worries rougher weather will only lead to more problems. It's only going to get worse because there's going to be more limbs and more trees come down on those lines and they're going to bring those lines even lower to the road. Sieber tells me she has reached out to both her phone company and government officials, but has been met with little success. She also worries about the potential for accidents. None have happened so far that she knows of, but she believes it's only a matter of time. She's had a couple of close calls with the phone lines on the road herself. If they would get up here and cut those lines out of there, I'll just do that so that the road uh, people can uh, take the trees out. That would be an improvement. Sieber has no plans on leaving this area, but she's also very much tired of dealing with this situation. I'd go out there and cut those lines myself before I do that. And they could haul me to jail if they wanted to. I don't care. I've, I've had it with them. And I'm not the only one up here that has mentioned that. I reached out to Lumen, and a spokesperson says they understand the ongoing problem, and a technician will be there on Monday to safely take care of the lines. Reporting in Sweet Home, Julio Mora Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News. Julio, thank you.